Who in here loved pizza growing up? I know I did, but now that we're older, we're a lot more concerned with our health and also our finances to just be able to go and get a takeout pizza whenever we want. So today I'm going to show you how you can make a homemade pizza that's a lot more cheaper and a lot more um, health-wise friendly for you. Um, obviously, health-wise, a homemade pizza trumps takeout pizza by a lot, and I'm going to show you how. The crust alone is 348 calories for your homemade pizza, and then with the toppings I'm going to use, like the tomato sauce and my cheese, is only 398 calories. So that's totaling out at 746 calories for a homemade pizza. Now that might seem like a lot, but a small Domino's cheese pizza is 960 calories. That means that homemade pizza trumps takeout pizza by 210 calories. Now, what you'll need to make your crust is about 2 cups of flour, 1 and a half teaspoons of sugar, 3 fourths teaspoons of salt, 2 thirds cup of very hot water, and 3 tablespoons of oil. Your crust is going to cost you about $1.39 for all the ingredients that you need, and your toppings is going to cost you about $2.19. So that totals out at about $3.58 for your homemade pizza. A small Domino's cheese pizza is $7.99, and that's not even counting the tax and the delivery fee. So you're saving a lot just by making your pizza at home. To prepare for cooking your pizza, you want to make sure and wash your hands thoroughly. It's very important that you do that. After you're done with that, you go ahead and preheat your oven to 425. The directions to make your crust, you want to go ahead and combine one cup of flour, your yeast packet, the sugar and the salt that it asked for, and a large bowl. And use a mixer and just mix that all up. And it's going to turn into, you know, it's going to mix all together. And then after that's all mixed together, you want to go ahead and add your water and your oil. In order to make your water hot, I went ahead and just uh, put it in the microwave for two minutes and that made it hot obviously. So you just put that in there. After that's all mixed up together, you want to gradually add flour until a soft dough ball is formed. And after that dough ball is formed, you want to take it onto a floured surface, which means you just want to take some of your flour. I did it on my countertop. You just place it on your countertop and you want to knead through your dough. After kneading through your dough, you want to go ahead and uh, put it, transfer it onto a pizza pan that's greased and then you'll pat it out and make sure that your pizza's flat and it's a round, uh, you know, a round surface on your uh, pizza pan. After that, you just go ahead and add your desired toppings. I went ahead and added my tomato sauce and my cheese pizza, or my cheese, my mozzarella cheese, and you just sprinkle it all out on there. And then once that's done, that's all you have to do. Just stick it in the oven for about 15 minutes and you're ready to enjoy. Now you should know how to make a pizza. Joseph McAllister says that eating at home allows you to control the ingredients in your food and move towards healthy living. So I hope that this how-to has helped you understand that you should probably eat at home to be able to save money and save those empty calories that you're wasting on takeout.